Open sesame, please. What? Nice haircut, dude. Nice hat. Wow, nice shirt, dude. Wow. That's a cool shirt. Oh, cool socks. No one wants to see your shoes, dude. Toolbox cam. Good thing we got this nice toolbox to uh, set this camera up right here. Get a sick angle of this thing pulling in. Should we, put, should we put this on camera? What? Have you ever listed a vehicle for sale with like, what is it, PD, PDL, Howard Rolex? Like in the <laughs> No. <laughs> no, never? I, I have a <laughs> That's an option that you want to make sure that people know because that, that, that could possibly, you know, not have it. No, this, this, this is a classy broad. She's got, she's got power windows, power, power locks. 93 model LE. Used to, used to say LE before someone took them off. 12 valves of raw power. What is going on today guys? Welcome back. As you can see, we are back in the shop with the first gen real quick. Uh, we took a couple days off. Didn't film up there, but we just got back from Atlantic City truck meet. It feels like a Monday, but it's actually Tuesday. Took the, uh, took the second gen up there. Michael's over here calling me out on Instagram on how much room is left on the trailer. We were potentially possibly going to be picking up another truck while we were up there. Deal kind of fell through. Uh, so that's the reason why we had a half empty trailer. But anyway, we're back on the first gen. Give this video a big thumbs up if you are ready for some first gen action because we have got some big plans uh, for this thing coming up in the next couple weeks. You know, some 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 more bigger spinny things, some some better internal components. But that's what we're working on today. We're gonna make some more power, we're gonna make some more steam with the first gen because tonight, Tuesday, is hopefully, potentially, give me some wood to knock on somewhere, these shelves are, uh, that it is Tuesday night test and tune. So it's not gonna be in this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We will be back at the track with our upgraded modifications. But if you guys have not already, do yourselves a favor, help support the channel. The best way to support the channel, number one way to support the channel, is get yourself some Wrenchworks gear at wrenchworks.com. Also gets you entered to win this awesome toolbox, fully loaded with Milwaukee tools, top to bottom. Make sure you guys go do that, appreciate that. We are shipping out orders faster than ever. We have had people get stuff in one to two days now, so we are on top of it. We are restocking a lot of stuff. Everyone's gonna, everyone's gonna mention the engine. Ooh, getting some, is it easy, easy doctor. Easy doctor. Uh, we are restocking a lot of stuff. So make sure you guys head over there, grab the stuff that you can now, and we are working on restocking stuff. Uh, but anyway, on with the video. Also, another huge, huge, huge supporter of the channel. The reason why we can have fun and do what we do is the guys over at Banks Power. Make sure you guys show them some love on their YouTube channel. They have been posting weekly videos on their uh, Chevy, I believe it's a C20 project. I always mess that up because C10 is the popular one. But anyway, make sure you guys go over, show them some love and let's get on with today's video like I said we are prepping for the track hopefully going to better our best times Michael what what are we even getting into today I'm messing with the pump putting some gut springs in you know this 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 12 valve this magical this P pump thing uh, you know there's no there's no key there's no uh, computer there's no uh, keystrokes put your laptops away put your laptops away boys we've got this magical little engine on the side of our engine called the p-pump that we are going to be changing out some different governor springs so uh, if you guys don't know this is a feral stage uh, stage four, I believe it's the biggest 12 millimeter pump before you go to a 13 millimeter pump uh, It has been an absolute beast, but we do have some updated Possibly some more power some more rpm Governor springs that we are going to be installing in the pump today real quick guys filming this down in the man cave because it's information That was after the fact but just got done talking to the guys at feral uh, Diesel and they did mention to kind of let you guys know if you guys have possibly purchased a pump between 
between possibly 2017 and 19 is kind of when they upgraded these springs. So if you think you might have a pump that may need these springs and want to upgrade to them, uh, they're taking care of that for you guys. Just make sure you guys get in, get in contact with them, call them. They can let you know if your pump may or may not need these new uh, style pump uh, style governor springs. They're taking care of that for you guys. Uh, so make sure you just give them a call. Great guys to deal with. So we're going to run you guys through that a little bit. Hopefully maybe this will help just a little bit. Governor springs are important for a lot of different characteristics of the pump. Um, but yeah, hopefully this updated design gives us maybe a little more power, a little more RPM. So yeah. Do you know what you're doing? Getting the chainsaw tools out. Chainsaw tools out. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's, that's what's on the agenda for today. People, like I said, if you guys are pumped for 12 valve content, we are going to be doing 12 valve content for you guys. There were plenty of Milwaukee and steel comments. Oh, people want to know. People, are you mean uh, still in Husqvarna? Husqvarna? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Milwaukee well, wasn't in there. Milwaukee? You said Milwaukee. No, so you, you, want, you want to start up a chainsaw review channel? Yep. Let's do it. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, your governor springs are located right down here. You see this? See this nut right here. Now, step number one would be removing your shutoff solenoid, but obviously this this thing is uh, way too cool for something that sophisticated. So we just have a pull cable inside. So we've already taken off our shutdown solenoid. Next step up, I believe, is removing that nut, Michael. Yep. Why am I even talking? This is your video because, I, yeah, it's your video because I'm not even gonna pretend like I know <laughs> what, I'm, what, we're, what we're doing right here. Yeah, the P-pump, it bolts on with four bolts. Uh, you know, you set the timing and, and that's it, right? Six bolts. Six, four, I mean, two are optional for weight reduction, but. All right, what's the next step? We're gonna take this arm off. Oh, the arm. Yep. You don't need an arm. One's, one's plenty. <laughs> Your forearms look really good. Oh. How's that feel? I feel great. It's so close, but it... I have so, to push the button so on. far away. <laughs> I have to push the button on the back to get it to go on. Want a flathead screwdriver? No, I got her. All right, we're ready, ready yeah. to crank. Who wears gray shirts to work on 12 hours? Here, do you wanna, <clears throat> you wanna do the honors of zooming in on the, uh, on the action? So, yeah, as you spin. Uh, this is the zoom button right here. I know you don't really know how to work that a whole ton, but. Yeah, I don't like that button. <laughs> And then we'll wait for our gov spring to flip around here. One more. Okay. That's beautiful. All right, so you got your governor spring showing. Uh, there are two two sets, right? So you have one set spinning around. You'll have one, the complete 180 opposite. Is that is that the uh, so the list of the list of my dad's TV repair toolkit. <laughs> your 12 valve, your 12, the only tool that you need to uh, repair 12 valves for the most part. Mm -hmm. Let me get in there, let me get in there. Sorry guys, this is very hard to show exactly what we're doing, but you basically spin that guy around. And this is just like a CP3 nut. Do not drop it down in there. So when you get it kind of loose, take a magnet and spin it out the rest of the way because you don't want it to drop down in the pump case. So that is what holds your spring set in there. Uh, it missed the cup a lot. Oh. So or we have cleanup on aisle four, no matter what. All right, here we are. And again, this isn't really like a factory comparison. This is kind of like what uh, Farrell puts in their pumps or what did put what they did put in their pump to kind of like their own spring setup. So it's not really, we're not really comparing uh, like taking factory governor springs and putting in your generic aftermarket. These springs are already kind of set up for a pump that flows some, uh, flows more 
uh, fuel and is able to spin higher RPM. So these were basically like high RPM springs that he used to use for updating with ones that he has. This top one we come to learn is your idle spring. So this one kind of gets flopped over to here and you do have four uh, springs total. So you've got baby, miniature, little bit bigger and here you go there's your adult so you got baby middle school high school and here you are you like my you like, you like my analogy which one are you uh <laughs> which one do i act like on the weekends to what i'm what you know, uh, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, we've already got the other side done. Um, so again, some custom, some custom modifications may have been done, but really, you know, we're just in search of more fuel, more power, all of the RPM. So we're going to go ahead and install these. All right, little sneak peek there. Rotated the engine over. Got our new springs installed. Everything is good. I'm going to have Michael kind of show you just a little bit on the calipers here, what we're trying to measure. And again, this is really just uh, the way Farrell wants stuff set up with this specific pump and kind of just showing you guys that just so in case you are dealing with something like this, a lot of people will refer to uh, that retainer as you spin it in clicks. But the way that Farrell wants us to measure this is in stem protrusion, which the stem is where the retainer threads onto the nut and we're going from the top of the stud down to the retainer correct yep so grab yep. yourself some calipers we use this we use that side there's a hundred ways to do it but this is what we're gonna do today and then stick the one end on the stem the other end on the washer Clean up, clean up aisle three. This comes standard with every uh, purchase of every 12 valve. Sure. Brake clean, starter fluid. <laughs> A little bit of oil, you know, it's no big deal. All right, so we're pretty much ready to start this thing up and Michael, we should probably drive it, right? Oh yeah. Should probably drive it, maybe do a burnout. Make sure it's not gonna run away or do anything crazy. Seriously, a world of difference. That is what? Wow. Dude, whole new animal. Like, going tan tonight? What? Going tan tonight? Woo!
Yeah. Are you good? I'm great. I didn't, uh, I saw the cloud behind, behind me and I was like, well that escalated quickly. Yep. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah, let's do a thumbnail real quick. Well, I can't help myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you what. My goodness, this thing. I don't know if I just like refell back in love with the first gen, but it has always been a burnout monster. And it this those pump modifications to those springs. If you, if you are looking for some P pump love, you need to go get yourself a feral diesel pump because I have done absolutely zero work besides changing out these governor springs. It was probably the easiest thing. And, and again, I don't know P pumps. I don't claim to. Uh, I honestly had feral kind of set up the pump. We have not touched the CCs in it. We have not really changed the timing. We set the timing when it went in the truck. We got our pump gear adjusted and I've changed the governor springs and that is it. And this truck, I'm telling you, is a completely different beast and he makes some really really high quality pumps so again feral diesel pump service uh, if you guys are looking for P pumps I went ahead and I didn't mess with a stock pump I really just went ahead and got a pump right from him when we P pump swap this thing it's been a while since we've uh, gave him any recognition but a uh, super awesome pump truck seems like it is very very happy with those new governor springs and my goodness does it burn tires up Wow so easy so easy so anyway guys hopefully that uh that helps you guys out a little bit man these corn these corn uh uh corn bees now are just like everywhere look at there's crap flying everywhere anyway guys the truck seems to be running phenomenally i'm very excited so you guys are going to have to stay tuned and stay subscribed and come back tomorrow or the next day for the track video because we're basically going to get ready and go load up and go right to the track. But she seems like she's dialed in. She seems like she's very happy. She seems like she wants to go at least a 1099. That is the goal for tomorrow or tonight. But anyway, guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Who doesn't love big burnouts? Make sure you guys head over to wrenchworks.com. Support the channel. Support your boys. Get entered in that giveaway. Get a chance to win the toolbox. We will have the uh, mini, kind of like the mini winners uh, for the guy and person who's going to come hang out with us for a little while. And uh, the impact sockets here real, real soon. So as soon as I have that, maybe the next video or two, we'll announce that. And we'll get some stuff restocked. But anyway, guys... There you go, Governor Springs, world of difference. Make sure you guys hit the like button before you leave, subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you guys in the next video, see ya.